Hello guys, this is Blast, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. So now we have 9 S-Class on the battlefield, alright? Something we haven't seen before at this time during the war and the webcomic. The 9 S-Class are Child Emperor, Zombie Man, Sweet Mask, Alloy Darkshine, Pretty Pretty Prisoner, Atomic Samurai, Big God, Tank Top Master, and Drive Knight. In this video, I'll try to predict how will things unfold against the five cadres. Let's start with Child Emperor. We do know that Child Emperor has lost his ultimate weapon, Brave Giant, but he still has his backpack. Now, Child Emperor was injured against evil natural water earlier in the story. He still can use that dribble attack that we saw used against Monster Gun. But still, uh, Child Emperor is an injured as class, but maybe Murata is going to change things compared to what happened in the webcom. Number two, we have Zombie Man. Zombie Man lost all all his weapons. Some of them were destroyed by Homeless Emperor. This S class doesn't have any weapons. He doesn't even have clothes on, you know, guys. Uh, we are aware that Zombie Man's most powerful attributes is regeneration, but he still needs weapon for offense. He could use that uh, attribute to take down a cadre or to exhaust a cadre while uh, another S class finish him. Number three, we have Sweet Mask. Now that's an S class I am eager to see let loose against these powerful cadres. Uh, Sweet Mask doesn't appear to be injured. He is ready to fight 100% health we saw what he did to Darkshine despite his humiliating encounter with Fuhrer Ugly he is in a good condition to fight we can expect a lot from this A-class hero number four we have Alloy Darkshine now this fortress of a muscle did lose his will he did mention to the S-class that Garu has broken his spirit but regardless Darkshine is an incredible fighter possessing a fortress of muscle that is more than capable of absorbing all kinds of attacks. I'm really eager to see how Darkshine can fight against the likes of Fuhrer Ugly and Evil Natural Water. Will Evil Natural Water piercing attacks be capable of injuring this S-Class? Can Alloy's muscle deflect Evil Natural Water attacks? Let's wait and see. Number 5 we have Piri Piri Prisoner. Now Piri Piri Prisoner was beaten twice and the war hasn't officially started yet. He fought against Nian and Garu and lost. But will he be able to hold his own against a as powerful as Homeless Emperor Black S in his first form? Will he be able to avoid Homeless Emperor Deadly Spheres? Will he be able to dodge the attacks of evil natural wars? Everything is still up in the air, guys. Number six, Atomic Samurai. Now, Atomic Samurai was beating badly in his fight against Black S, so he won't be able to fight at full power after the assemble of the S class. He still has his sword, so he sure is still capable of inflicting damage with his sword taking. Now, Atomic Samurai Guys is a lethal S class. Let's not downplay the fact that he is very powerful. It's just he had a terrible matchup against a multiplying opponent. Keep in mind, guys, that the only three weaknesses of Atomic Samurais are the following regenerating monsters, multiplying monsters, and losing his sword. Other than that, he will turn his enemy into mincemeat like a beast in a mere seconds. Number 7, we have Pig God. Now, Pig God also have a rough fight against Gums. He was injured, but in the webcomic, he didn't have that much of a role to play during the war. I mean, he was even overlooked by Garu. Like, maybe Morata will change that. I'm still not sure. Number 8, now this is something new and refreshing. Tank Top Master is in the war. He looks intimidating. He looks beastly. Now, if you think about it, guys, the only reason Tank Top Master lost is because he had a terrible matchup against a technique expert. Now, Garb was capable of taking down Tank Top Master through hurting his joints and muscles. Tank Top Master is an S-Class that believes in raw power and technique is his only weakness. Now, he can finally let loose against the monstrous cadres. I'm not sure if Tank Top will be able to avoid the explosive spheres. I mean, they are super fast. Can he dodge the shots of evil natural waters? how he will fight against someone as Gums or Fuhrer Ugly. I believe that Tank Top Master, for the most part, can hold his own. He does not have a problem fighting against a physical or superior like enemy. He is powerful. He can use that uh, Tank Top Tackle uh, against a cadre. Regardless, Tank Top Master is certainly an important addition in this war. Number 9 and last, we have Drive Knight. I like Drive Knight, guys and how he plans his attacks. Joining the battlefield was a real surprise to me, but this could prove that he will accomplish his duties as a hero, or maybe he just has an ulterior motive joining in in the first place. 
Now this is where things get really interesting. Drive Knight was depleted of power. Still, Drive Knight is a more than capable as class fighter. Right now he is engaging in a fierce battle against Psycho Rochi. He did absorb the power of that city, that's why he is capable of operating and fighting once again. Some among the One Punch Man community thinking how Drive Knight will stack up in a fight against Monster Garo. Now this is a very interesting topic to discuss, but I believe that some S-Class will be taken out, like totally before the arrival of the Despair Incarnate. We do know how Drive Knight fights, he gathers information, first like uh, he remains on the sidelines for a while, but this time he's too deep in the fight. He has to work with the cards he's dealt. A Drive Knight could exhaust all his battle energy and leave before the arrival of Garo. That could be a possibility. But in this video, guys, I'm talking about the S Class versus the Cadres before the arrival of the Hero Hunter. A Drive Knight could hold his own against any Cadre. Just give him some preparation time, alright? But as I mentioned earlier, he's into too deep now. I'm really eager to see how he reacts against different powers. For example, against Homeless Emperor, he could use the last transformation to escape the spheres and deliver a very powerful attack to this country. I'm not sure if Evil Natural Water can feel Drive Knight's hostility and animosity since he's a shape-shifting machine, like he's not a human, alright? If that's the case and Evil Natural Water will fail to detect any sign of hostility, then Drive Knight could use his gold transformation to take out the above demon monster through evaporizing it with the heat attack. Drive Knight could also use the poisonous attack, but that's a low probability because he is surrounded by S-Class as well, and in doing so, he might bring their downfall, or maybe this is what he wants all along. As for the Cadres guards, with the exception of Psycho Rochi, it did sustain a lot of battle damage. They are guys ready to fight 100% full health. They are unharmed, savages. Guys, the Cadres are monstrous. Despite their encounter with the S-Class, they are fully prepared. Let me know in the comments your ideas about the final war as well and how the S-Class will fight against the Cadres. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe guys so you can help me reach 2k. Keep supporting One Punch Man until we get the season 3. This has been a blast art and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great day everyone. Take me away, take me away to a much better place. Much better place. Yeah, we could run away.